Okay, so this is kind of my part two of my blog post. On part one, I addressed that Cody went through an update and updated from 17.3 stable to 17.4 stable. And if you watch the last blog post, I showed you how to log into your Gmail account uh, and update the app if it didn't auto update or create a Gmail account so that you have access to the Google Play Store. I mentioned at the end of that video that I was going to address issues with the build um, that we currently have and I'm going to do that now. And keep in mind, the, the issues that we're having with the build is because Cody is going through an update so our add-on providers also have to update to make sure that it's you know versatile and compatible with both 17.3 and 17.4 versions of Cody. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Cody. If you have my build no matter if you have the budget box, the economy box, or the ultimate box, it's the exact same build. I'm going to go ahead and mute it so we don't have the annoying notification sounds. And, you know, while it's loading, I'm just going to go ahead and explain this, is that the, this build is based on an add-on called Elysium. Elysium's been really good. They were formerly known as Zen, which was really good. And now um, Elysium is trying to keep on top of everything. And as of this date, again, which is Sunday, August 27th, uh, Elysium is going through an updating process. So as you can see, when we first load our build, everything looks normal. Movies is there. There's widgets on top, which are these boxes right here that allow you quick access to these movies that are under the featured categories of Elysium. But if you go... Um, over to TV shows, I'm not sure if they've eliminated that yet or not. No, it's working there. On my, on my other box, it wasn't, and I think that's because we had the older version. But there are things that, that are not working on here. Like, for example, kids. As you can see, it's struggling right now because it's under live TV. It's blank to whereas before on my build, you notice that you had widgets. That's because Elysium is re-indexing the kids category and it's no longer available. As soon as Elysium updates, um, this will all come back. Uh, and it's just a matter of them relaunching their update and then Cody or Elysium auto-updating inside of Cody. So um, anyway, a couple things that I wanted to address is, is that there are things that are on this current build um, that are not working. Uh, for example, music. Music is not working. Uh, I was using two different add-ons for music. I was using an, an add-on called MP3 Strings and they're not updating or they're not available. Uh, I was also using Now Music USA which was an add-on that was using music videos off of YouTube. That also is not working. So this category for right now is completely dead. Um, however, being that you do have an Android box on the home screen, you have a category for music, you can add your Pandora or your Spotify and you'll be able to listen to music through your TV doing that. So there is a way around that. Uh, the other thing that wasn't working was kids. And, and kids, as you can see, is, well, it's there. It's, it's not working. And th there again, it's because it was using a widget called Elysium Disney Collection, which they're in the middle of an update. So as soon as they update and release and it updates, this will work again. Now, one thing that I do want to address is uh, collections, which was my favorite part of the build. And unfortunately, the add-on known as Bob appears to be dead. Uh, it appears to no longer work at all. Now, there are still widgets up here, but I've clicked on several of these and none of these will play. Uh, so I just wanted to address that issue. Now, let's get back to the main, the main thing, which is movies. Because one thing that I do want to show you is, is that you see the little down arrow right here. That means that there's options if you hit the down arrow on your remote. On pretty much all of these. So, you know, you've got options to search movies, movies that are in theater, popular movies, top rated movies, so on and so forth. They all work and they work, you know, they work without any problems whatsoever. Um, one thing that I want to address is, is if you're having problem finding a specific TV show or a movie, and I think I've addressed this in another blog post or another instructional video, is you can simply go over to search. 
Now, whether you click OK here or you click down, it doesn't matter. So for the sake of argument, let's just click OK. So as you can see, movies, TV shows, music, channels, playlists, so on and so forth, search, they're all there and they all work. So depending on what you want to do, you can search whatever you want to search. So for example, um, let's search a movie real quick. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good one and not waste too much time. You simply go to search movie, hit OK, it pulls up the search, and then you type in your movie. So I'm going to pause right here while I think of a, a, a good family-friendly movie, and then I'll be right back. So I made my decision, and you know, I'm going to make it really easy, RV, <laughs> which is a Robin Williams movie. So I click Done on that, and it's going to ask me, well, what do you want to search? Movies, TV shows, albums, artists, tracks, channels. Obviously, RV, I want to search the movie. It doesn't matter which one of these you click, whether it's TMDB or whether it's tracked. It doesn't matter. I always do TMDB. And I click OK. So now I've got all these options. Well, the first one that pops up is what I'm looking for. It's RV. So I click OK. And now it's going to ask me what I want to play the movie using. Well, as I mentioned before, uh, Bob it, apparently is dead. Exodus, if you read the news on them, they're going to be dead soon. And when I say dead, I mean they're no longer in existence. I don't mean somebody you know, took a gun and shot the add-on or whatever. I mean that they're, not longer, they're no longer going to provide. So Elysium is still working. So if we search for RV under Elysium, it will actually start the search and do exactly what it's supposed to do. And in just a minute, which I might pause to save time on this, although it's moving pretty quick, you know, it'll start pulling up sources as you can see. So I, I've already got two HD sources, four HD sources, and 12 SD sources or standard definition sources. And just to save time, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right, stop it right here. And there you go. I've got HD uh, 720 right here. If I click OK, uh, the movie will start to play. I'm going to play about two seconds of the movie so I don't infringe on any copyright because I don't want to rebroadcast this movie. As you can see, 2006 RV, it's playing. It's a, what is that, Universal or Columbia? I think it's Columbia. It's playing and it's good to go. Columbia, there it is. And you can see in the bottom 720 um, and it's, it's playing just fine. So I'm going to stop that movie right there. But while before I do that, let, let's say you search a movie and you go, well, I don't want to watch it now, I want to watch it later. I want to address, you know, while Elysium's not working, it's a perfect opportunity for me to address how to save this to your favorites category. Because I had people ask me about this. That's real simple. It's already highlighted in blue on RV, and that's the movie that we want. So all you have to do is press and hold your OK button until a menu pops out of the side. And then if you scroll down, you can see where it will say Add to Favorites, right there. So if you click Add to Favorites, that movie is now on your favorites. So you can literally create a playlist from right here. I address this in the user manual on the TX3 box. As you can see, these two dots which if you're familiar with uh, ASCII programming, uh, means back one. Or as you can see there, the icon is the left arrow, meaning back one. I can go back. Um, I can do the same thing again and go right back to search movie. So if I want to add another movie, I can search movie. And let's do uh, Alice in Wonderland. Make sure I spell it correctly. Believe me, spelling does count. And, you know, I know you hear that in, in school, but if you know if you misspell, it's Google's not going to say did you mean? It's going to search for exactly what you typed. And if you misspelled a movie or put a wrong movie in, it's not going to give you a suggestion. It's just not going to find anything. So let's search Alice in Wonderland on movies. And I know there's a ton of Alice in Wonderland movies, but the one that I'm looking for is this one right here with Johnny Depp. I could go through the same thing again. It would say play using. I would select Elysium. It would probably be in HD, and I would be able to watch it, but the favorites is what I'm getting at. I want to do the same thing again where I press and hold OK, 
and I go to, well, I, I usually go up. That's quicker to get there, but I know a lot of people want to scroll down. So scroll down to add two favorites. I click OK, and I'm going to back all the way out of this, hitting the U-turn or the back arrow till I get back to my home screen. I know we're getting over 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But what I do want to show you now is, is on my favorites, which I've got a ton of favorites. I've got a huge playlist. And believe me, all of this works. I can click on anything, watch it. Uh, the newer stuff, you know, is in HD. It's in 720. It's in 1080. But as you can see, I will find um, Alice in Wonderland and RV. And here they are, Alice in Wonderland and RV, which means I can click them. And it'll do the same thing. It'll say play using. And I'm going to select Elysium. And then I'm going to select the best source. So Elysium, OK. And then it starts pulling the provider. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, if it was useful. Again, share the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any comments, leave a comment below and I will respond back to it. Um, and if you have any questions, again, feel free to visit our website, even if you're not a customer, www.usandroidtv.com. And uh, there's a lot of useful information, including the vlog posts that you'll see here, along with our FAQ. And uh, we even have our user manual on our budget box fully on YouTube, so it's a video, so you're good to go. So I'm going to wrap it up, and thanks again for watching.